Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about rich text box control in Seesaw.net Windows Phone. So what is the rich text box control? So it's the advanced type of text box uh, that provides text editing and advanced formatting. And uh, here we can do uh, a scroll down and a scroll up. Or uh, we can do this kind of feature. So let's uh, see the features so uh, inside rich text box. So double click on form. So right here the form load event open. So I right am going to write to uh, rich text box. So here represents a Windows rich text box control. And here I'm going to create the object of rich text box R. Now here after let's uh, write rich text box new rich text box and here after first I'm going to set the location of uh, rich text box so add here by using new and your point so at your point denote x and y coordinate so at here I'm going to give x coordinate 35 and y35 now here after setting the width and height so right to width so right here, setting the width to 50 and your next is r dot height so height here setting to 50 now here after uh, let's uh, execute the uh, code so right here uh, form loaded but the uh, rich text box it's not displaying at here so one thing keep in mind so after writing any code you should have to add or we should have to add the controls. So I have to write controls dot add method here. I am using rich text box. So I have passing add here R. Now if you execute again, So see at here rich text box it's so displaying now so from here you can write any kind of text you see hi guys how are you and if you uh, press enter so see at here it's so a scroll bar it's so coming at here so this so or difference between or rich text box and this is the one difference between rich text box and text box so in text box so you can't cut uh, this kind of features as called well. here you can get in rich text box so this is the first difference and uh, here after let's uh, add some color or uh, of rich text box so r dot here setting back color so back color equal to color dot here I'm giving at here seven. Now here after R dot here for color. So for color color dot so add am setting blue. Now let's execute. So I have see the background kit change. So this is the same. So if you write any text, so that is then look. So here I'm going to write hi friends. So the for color add here blue. Now if you write to ready-made something on the text, so here you should write or dot your text cross. And here in double code writing example of rich text box. So 
So this all will display. Let's execute and see. So see at here, this all display. So at here, if you want to do control A, control A, so there's so selected all. So control A, control C, and here after you can paste anywhere. Control X, back to select control X. So it's a hard count. So this kind of things we can do in the rich text box. So there is one property. So here yeah, you can make a rich text box only for read. So by default it's a, a not read. So here yeah, for read purpose. Here you use read only. So by default it's so true. So at here I'm going to give at here or true. So by default it's false. So if I set at here true. So here after if you press control A, it's so here yeah, it's all selected. Consult C. But you can't do any or and control B. Not happening. Control A, Control X, Control Z, Control A is not. So that means it's only for read purpose. So if you write anything, it's as a not for. Now here I'm going to mark this comment. Now here you can also state the maximum length. So R dot here. Setting maximum length, max length. So I'm giving at a 10. So let's execute. So this is the text more than 10. So if I'm going to remove it, now here after I'm going to P. So here, see if you can't, so it's only or 10 times. So only 10 characters you can include because at here I set the maximum length 10. So that we have to say to maximum length higher number like uh, 1000, 10,000. So you can maximum into 10,000 or character. Now here after you will not increase the font size. So here I'm going to increase this font size. So for this we need to use font class. So add here right to R dot here font. So font and here after new here font. So here I'm going to use first bold and here giving the size 24. So see at here font color that change. So this is the one simplest coding way to create the uh, rich text box. Now here after I am going to uh, take the rich text box from the toolbox. So right here, right, rich. So see, see at here, rich text box, it's coming. So about the rich text box, provide advanced text entry for editing return features such as character and paragraph. So this thing, let's track this one. and. Here, this is the arrow. So from here, you can edit the text. So from here, so this must be font per line. So I am going, hi guys, how are you? So let's press into. So see at here, this oh, text here, it's a display. Now, if you a second is talk. So doc means that will take all the form space. So I am going to make this one on doc. Now here after I am going to discuss some important properties inside. So this is the ready made properties. You have to only or do some modification here. So add here the back color if you want. You can change. So I am going to change the back color of like a scroll bar. So see at the back curve change. Now here a border stands. So this is by default it's so fixed. So if I'm going to select 
fixed uh, thing so see at here some difference it's the app here so if i select none so see at here it's app in all fixed and if i select the fixed 3d so it's the some margin space it's right now here after cursor is i beam so i beam means here now i'm going to select the cursor size of so if i'm going to execute so if i take the cursor into the in, inside the reach text box so you see at here it's a display size box so these two things now here after select the text box so size all it's a over so I want the font from here you can change the font also so from here you can make bold here you can select this one here increase the font also so I'm going 11 so see at here the font size it's a change now here after you can change the font color also so I am going to take the menu so see at here font color it's a change font color now here after lines so lines so this is the lines so from here you can also enter so i'm going to enter how are you i'm writing at your fine so from here you can also enter the line now here after right to left so by default also no so if you select yes so see at your it's it's, it's now text in right so i'm going to make this or bigger little bit now if you make a no so see at here the difference it's now here here left so you scroll bar so that both so here this is non horizontal so you should check one by one this all now here after this is the text property so here you can do some modification of the text or you can add the text here So add here, this is the maximum length, so maximum or uh, character you can enter, so this is a very large number and you can make, so by default it's a multi line, so make it false, so see add here, only in one line it's a display, so that here, oh, you should try it, so after multi line, so after multi line you can enter many text, so read only I already discussed in the form so here yeah, I'm not going to discuss so visibility must be true word space and zoom factor and here after if you want then here you can change the name of for text so I'm going at here rch text and here after uh, if you want lock so if you want to make this size fixed so from here you can just select true so from here after you can't move or uh, this or uh, text which text box anywhere and here so modifier by default it's private or you can change give at your uh, public protector internal so this is the property and here lock so location you can change according to requirement so here the size 160 location is x and y axis here size width and height now here after this is the power properties or whatever the property i leave so you should try to check and uh, see the difference now here after or uh, let's go to event so there are so many events inside which text box so I'm, you should try and whatever problem you faced any problem so leave your comment i will try to solve it so at i am going to use the two text box mouse enter mouse way so at here write enter mouse enter so at here i am going to write our rich text box dot so this is the name of rich text box so at here i am going to change back color equal to color dot or gray and 
So if I enter or cursor inside text box, so the color keeps changing. So it's the now uh, display gray. And you have to I uh, use to or uh, reach or uh, mouse enter. So next I'm going to uh, use mouse of left. So here mouse left. So again okay, give the name of text box, rich text box, and you have to back color equal to color dot here yeah, right uh, giving at your blue violet now let's execute and see so at i'm going to take my mouse inside to see at the color is now green if i take outside so at here blue violet it's a display again green white blue violet so this is all important properties inside to rich text box so this is the direct method I discussed here, yeah, this is the all direct method and according to project requirement I will discuss about to some important events in my upcoming videos and uh, here this is the code way to make rich text box. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you and you can understand by or this video the difference between text box and rich text box so now in this video it's uh, over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you